Stage two of the Tour for All took the riders to Richmond, Virginia at a 46.2 kilometre course consisting of five laps around a hilly classic circuit. There'd be three points on offer for each king and queen of the mountain point and 25 points available for the finish. Jimmy Whelan would attack the early part of the men's race, EF Pro Cycling going out there and making sure they pick up points. Mathieu van der Poel was racing for a second day in succession and he'd try to get away a few times and in the end there'd be a couple of small groups making it away in the final lap. Michael Valgren, one of two NTT riders involved in the final shakeup, would attack with a few kilometres to go. And he'd survive until the last 400 metres. He'd then be taken by Greg van Avermaet, Mathieu van der Poel and company. But good news for him in the shape of his teammate, Michael Gurgel, the Austrian rider, going out, going ahead and taking it home for the finish for NTT. Gurgel winning by a second and a half with Van Avermaet second and Van der Poel in third place. As far as the overall standings are concerned, NTT lead after the first couple of days with Alpacine Fenix in second and EF Pro Cycling in third. In the women's race, it would be another very, very quick attritional start. This time, one team dominating the early part of the race with one rider, Ashley Moorman Passio for CCC Live, going ahead of yesterday's winner, Mariana Foss, who was also looking very, very comfortable in the front group. Kirsten Faulkner was one of a group of nine ahead. She tried to go on her own with a couple of laps to go. The Tipco Silicon Valley Bank team looking very good and having strength in numbers coming into the final couple of laps. Faulkner would be caught there with one and a half laps to go. And there'd be attacked from several different riders going up inside the final kilometre. Voss hanging on on the final climb. Ashley Moorman Passio though, making a break for it at the top of that last climb and holding on to win in spectacular fashion with CCC Liv winning individually two days out of two. And in terms of the team classification, picking up the most points on that second day. Well, Moorman beating Stevens and Foss, but look out for those Tipco Silicon Valley bank riders. They picked up a sack load of points and lead the standings after two days by almost 30 points from CCC Live.